Morning, it's Brentley here from Hawker Bones Equipment. We're gonna look at Legend's seven and a half wide Thunder Series today. This is a popular size trailer for us here with side-by-sides and tractors with cabs. So we're gonna look at how we order this trailer and why. All right, so we're gonna talk about this Legend seven and a half wide. This is an 18 foot Thunder Series. How they measure is 16 square plus a two foot wedge nose. So that gives you your 18 long. This is a seven and a half wide we've talked about. So it's gonna have a half fender, I'll call it on the outside of the trailer and no fender on the inside. So uh, you'll see that later on in the video of the wall is gonna be smooth. Unlike an eight or an eight half wide where you'll have half that fender on the inside as well. The height on this is a seven tall. It will come standard six, six, but we've raised it to the seven because of having cabs or, or side by sides that we wanna load in this trailer. And again, when we get to the back door, we'll talk about that height and why we do that. We'll run over the standard stuff of, of the trailer. This is a two and five sixteenths ball with a regular tongue jack, your safety chain, your seven pin wiring, all that stuff is standard. LED lights are standard on the Thunder Series. The nice, nice thing that is standard on their you know, this is their entry level trailer uh, or their, their price point trailer, but they still include torsion axles on this. So a lot of other companies will do a spring axle. A torsion axle, two reasons why it's better. It is mounted to the frame, so it gives you a little bit more clearance than what a spring axle does. And it's more like an independent suspension because those axles aren't linked together with um, you know, springs and shackles and that. It's more of an independent, it flexes on rubber, so it's a nicer ride, especially when you're loaded. When you're unloaded, it might bounce a little bit more on a rough road, but when you're loaded, that's really where you see it perform well. Uh, you will have brakes on both axles on a Legend, that's standard stuff, so all four wheels are braking, which is nice, even wear, even braking. And then we've done the aluminum rims. So this, well, this would come standard with a steel rim package. We upgraded to the aluminum, it just finishes off the trailer, looks nice, and then again, your, your rims aren't gonna rust with the salt and, and brine that go on the roads uh, around us here. So that's, uh, that's how we've suited this trailer. Uh, other than the side force vents you'll see, you'll see a side door on the, on the other side when we get to it and we'll go in inside the trailer next. All right, so a couple of things that we're doing with this trailer, uh, we're gonna try and keep it in stock as long as uh, everyone doesn't buy it at the same time. With your seven and a half wide, as you can see, down the walls, nice and clean. So if you're strapping things down, if you're putting things on the wall, there's no interference with the inner fenders. So that's a nice reason why they like the seven and a half wide. The other reason for going from a six or seven wide, that extra six inches does give you a lot when you're trying to open a cab door. So we're gonna show that in a little bit of loading a side-by-side -side or a cab tractor and, and getting in and out of that vehicle. That extra six inches does give you a lot more of the opening of the door and it doesn't seem like much, but when that door can extend six inches more, it does give you a lot more open entry in and out of that vehicle. So what we've done in this trailer, because we know we're, we're hauling heavier side-by-sides with Kubota diesels, with cab tractors being up to 4,000 pounds, we've beefed up the frame. So this would come standard with 24 inch centers. We've gone to 16s on the wall, 16s on, on the roof, and also 12s on the floor. So again, that space in between a, a cross member with a tire vehicle, then you never have to worry about your tires in between a cross member and you might you know, break that floor or, or that kind of thing with that weight bouncing down the road. All right, so we're gonna talk about the back ramp, the back opening, that sort of thing. What we've done with this ramp is typically there's three uh, hinge points on the ramps. We've done a heavy duty ramp, which gives you two extra uprights inside the ramp that you can't see with the wood on it. And it also gives you a fourth hinge point. So a lot stronger ramp. We've done the sport flap on the bottom just for a seamless uh, drive up the ramp that there's no bump there. But the bigger thing I want to talk about when you're talking about an enclosed car trailer, you always have to worry about your height. So seven foot tall trailer we talked about, this is what we've added the height to, that's inside. So you always have to remember when you're ordering a cargo trailer of your overall height is gonna be different on the back. You have this three or four inch header piece here that constructs the trailer and, and joins the frame and everything. So you lose inches for your overall height on the door opening. What we've done on the inside of this is what they call a no-show beaver tail. This is a 24 inch slope on the inside. You do not see it from the outside uh, profile of the trailer. But what that does is it brings your tipping point, I'll call it, or your, your peak point inside the trailer. So now you've gained two inches or three inches on the back opening with having the same height and you're bringing that pivot point inside the trailer. So you do actually have 84 inches high on this trailer because of the beaver tail and 84 inches high inside. So this is an 80, true 84 inch tall trailer and the opening. All right, so we'll finish here with the 
Other side of the trailer, we've got the RV side door on here. This is a 30 inch by 68 inch standard door. You're gonna have your, your nice latch here that does, does shut the latch nicely, just like an RV. It does have a deadbolt lock, it does have a handle lock, so nice two point lock there. You can get a stainless cam bar if you do need extra protection there, that is an added option you can do. Um, the other added option you can do with the doors is wider or taller. So you can go from 30 inch to 36 or 44 wide. And you can also do the 68 tall standard that we're looking at or 74 tall. So again, with the extra height, you could definitely do that height of the door, no problem. Um, just nicer for in and out. The other thing we do is a fixed step on the side uh, whenever we order our trailers. It's just a nice gap between, you know, that it's about 16 inches high, your floor off the ground. So again, it is a big step in, big step out, but this just kind of breaks it up that it'll give you about a five inch difference, I would say from the inside to the out and then, then a step down. So. Uh, on the front here, we've got our 16 inch stone guard. You can do 24 inch, you can do 48 inch. Uh, you can do slope nose on these uh, on the front on this Thunder series. So again, aerodynamics, you can think about that. Uh, but nice overall trailer. Uh, this is a silver frost color from them. Again, think about your lighter colors of the heat inside whenever you're doing uh, combustion engines, gases, vapors inside. Your side force vents, of course, will take them out while you're driving, but while it's just sitting there, the heat will be you know, more intense inside than outside on that day. So the lighter colors, they, there is a good difference between a darker color trailer on the inside heat. So if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.